Welcome back to Mr. CDP on tour, vlog number seven, part two, where I continue my wander around the prep for the Rickaby Show 2019. I'm going to be heading outside in a moment. I apologise, there's quite an abrupt jump straight in because I had to split this into two separate parts. Um, but come along with me, Mr. CDP. And we've got KRM uh, fertilizer spreaders, uh, re three, rear three point mounted ones, kind of like the ones we get in game. It's that's what we were talking about a little while ago. Uh, it's fascinating how you know, this one here 1,325 litres capacity, 12 meter spread, 3,395 plus VAT. Not bad at all. And um, how a lot of the equipment's the same, they do the same jobs, but there's loads of different manufacturers that make the same types of equipment. Over here, we've got a uh, Utility vehicles, these are Kawasaki ones, I think. They're Kawasaki. So, I like the Gator and the Mahindra we've got in game already. They're Kawasaki versions. Then, over here, we've got these ones are, is it Bobcat? Yeah, like, like zero point turning mowers. So, I'm a little bit, I think I didn't zoom back, did I? No, I didn't. <laughs> That's better. So zero, zero point turn mowers, Now this one is really cool. This is designed for doing verges and, and hillsides and stuff. Twin wheel setup mower, so it can't tip over. What a fantastic idea and a brilliant, brilliant bit of kit. That looks amazing. And over the back we've got, look at this one. Carlisle Racecourse, Jockey Club. Look at that, Ransoms. That's brilliant. So that's through the two main tents. I haven't even been out the front yet. We're going to get out the front in a minute. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head through and I'll see you out there in a minute. I forgot this second part. <laughs> now what they also do at Rickaby, they provide fences, gates, pens for animals, various different things like that. Um, so obviously a farm supply place as well as just being a class dealership. Uh, more Kawasaki stuff, uh, different tanks for containing all sorts of things. This is really cool. This is a plastic placeable, I think it's a bull calf pen, like a kennel really. <laughs> Amazing. Um, grass, what well, was the grassland something or other wasn't it? But conditioner, kind of grass conditioner. Um, what else have we got? Wakely roller mills. Over to the right hand side. And then this side we've got these are quick, quick attach front loaders. Very nice. On my wander around, I just kind of realised, decided I hadn't really done enough justice to some of this stuff here. The Class Tucano 440 Harvester. I didn't really, you know, I kind of wandered past, mentioned it, and the same with the Forage Harvester. But again, it's that, you know, we play with the harvesters, we do it in game, all the different sorts, and you really don't, can't get your head around it. When we get outside, we'll see the Lexian, which is just even bigger, it's just unbelievable. Um, what a bit of kit. These all are there. I, I'm so looking forward to July. I think there'll probably be more of a kind of formal announcement in July at FarmCon about class and what form that's going to take in game. Um, but you just can't... Also, you can't get your head around being this close to them. Obviously, if you deal with farm machinery every day of your life, if you are a farmer and you watch my videos, you might use class equipment, which is really, really cool. Um, you're used to this, but you know, for someone like me, wow, I'm still absolutely blown away by the Zerion. I've got a model one, but I honestly cannot believe the size of it. So I'm out the front now. Uh, we've got some more store thick equipment here. And obviously a lot more of the class equipment. The size of those mowers, 9,200. Didn't even notice those on the way in. So this has all changed massively from when I came last time there was all sorts of there were more tractors out here but obviously the tractors are all indoors now. The Volto uh, tedders, uh, we've got windrows over the back, the liners, obviously you cannot go over the size of that. 
That's amazing. We've got a little Arian. I was hoping there'd been Elios since my daughter. So he loves the Elios. I haven't seen one. There's more stuff on the grass here. Another forage house at the end. We've got a class Cargos. Cargos? I'm not quite sure what it's there. But the, uh, that class Quadrant Baylor. Again, what a beast. Absolutely. Oh, look at that. Oh, we'll have a good look at that in a second. There's the Quadrant. Now, I thought the Torian. Now, that's a wheel loader and half, that. Wow. What make is that? Uh, what name is that? I thought that was the class Torian, but that was the smaller one inside. Oh, the Torian. Just a a much larger Torian. Oh. And then to the side here, we've got a Cargos, which is a loading wagon, which they've very nicely put next to a forage harvester. But uh, let's have a look. Better angle on this. So that's a uh, Cargos 8300, 8300. We've got a class Jaguar next to it with the pipe out over the top of the Cargos, which is really rather cool. With a class 300 pickup, so this is the pickup. Uh, this is not a shopping unit for this, this is one that will pick up swaths off the ground. We have those in game as well. I really do hope they bring the class Jaguar to get to the game. That will just. <laughs> That will make my life. I know that sounds sad, but it really, really will. So, a lot of the equipment they've got indoors, obviously they've got outdoors. Bigger selection of stuff um, laid out. From the same companies, we've got Bunning and Bailey trailers. Uh, we've got various different grass rollers. Very nice bit of kit coming up in a minute. Um, over here, we've got a bale collector. Double bale collector. For round bales, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's move out of the way. What's this one coming in? Very cool. Um, yeah, round bales, got one section each side, which then lifts up into the middle. How cool is that? But behind that, oh, behind that, ladies and gents. We have got a class Lexion 750 and it's oh, hang on let me just steal myself oh before I pass out before I faint it's a terror track <laughs> it's a terror track oh I know that doesn't seem like much but oh look at that beauty that is so cool Make a lovely thumbnail. Unfortunately, I have to say goodbye. <laughs> but moving on, more Abbey uh, slurry spreaders, vertical feed mixers. VF2100, VF1500, like we have in game. There's a VF, that's going to be a 14 something, this side. Oh no, 1250. Oh yeah, look, this is what I was talking about. Let's go through here. <laughs> look at that. Oh, awesome, 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 awesome. So coming forward, obviously we've got more uh, grass equipment, wind rowers, tedders. We've got another air buggy. Very nice there. And this, like I've just shown you, but you know, you know, you can't have too many of these, can you? Look at that. So 
So, first one up, and they've all got the same headers on the front as far as I can make out. Uh, class 970, forage harvester. These might all be 970s actually, I'm not sure. 950, 950. I was really hoping there was going to be a Terra track, but there's not, I don't think. Another 950. Very cool. Oh, lots of 950s. The first one was a 970. 870. Obviously going down 860s, they're going down in size. 830 <laughs> There you go, look at the price Shall I get one while I'm here? What do you reckon? One next to it uh, That's 156,000 <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Why not? Well the one next door is only 149 could have more miles on it, I suppose that's probably why. <laughs> but no, I could do. Another 860. A bit more equipment. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. I think we've got tucked away without a header in front of them. More class Lexions, not a Terra Track though. Doesn't make them bad harvesters. <laughs> wow. This one's a 630. Another 6.30. They are lovely looking machines, aren't they? Whoa! A new old new Holden, look at that! Well that's a surprise, they came out of nowhere. How much do they want for that? 19,800! <laughs> wow, what is it? It's not a TX, is it? Wow, an FX375, never heard of it. Not that, you know, not that I'm an expert. New Holland FX375. Very cool. And then, oh, we've got a deer. <laughs> we have a deer, oh dear. Oh, and Amazon, I missed that. Amazon Cirrus, have we got one of those again? Cirrus 6000, I can't remember now. Got all sorts of stuff. We've got a John Deere, 6750. Forage harvester. Very cool, I didn't expect to see this here. Being a class dealership, that surprised me somewhat. Amy Grace, that's only 45 grand. 2,540 hours though. Very nice, very nice indeed. Vernon, bow shredder, Amazon drill. Very, very cool. Oh, another air buggy. And a class Axiom. 830. I have to say, I've just, just it's been amazing. I will say that again. I cannot thank the guys out here for letting me come around. Some John Deere mowers. It's been incredibly kind of them. Got an Atos. I'm sure it's an Elios that CLEG loves. Nice little 340 there, with the front loader. Arian, Arian, I think it's an Arian on the end there as well. Um, very nice indeed. Like I say, they've been amazing. They've been so kind, so helpful, so friendly, allowing me to just, you know, they took me around, showed me some stuff, and let me have a bit of a wander. And it's been brilliant. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope, you know, this might be put out in a couple of videos. I'm not too sure how I'm going to do this yet. Um, Class Scorpion, 60-30. But I think that's pretty much it from me. So what we'll do, we'll flip her around. Um, so I think we'll get some class stuff in the background, probably not a bad idea. That is all from me. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this, coming around the vlog with me. Um, the guys at class, like I say, have been amazing. Um, I've enjoyed every minute of it. 
it's been fascinating looking at all the equipment, seeing the size of some of the stuff. Um, if you have enjoyed this, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. If you want to share this video with them, please, if you want a guest, you should choose to do.